Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP and welcome to the pseudo inaugural Dragon Ball Diatribe, which is going to be my little mini podcast about Dragon Ball Super and all things Dragon Ball. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is going to be two parts today. And the first part, as you can see by looking at the screen, is Dead Goku. Or, well, rather, what we thought was going to be this really interesting story arc between Hit and Goku and finding out what is going to happen between these two as they develop, only to find out, really, this is just a mini-arc. Uh, I was hoping this would be the new story arc, and I was, in fact, hoping that the throwaway mob boss that we saw in the last episode was going to be Hit's employer. You see the shadowy cabal of aliens, and you think, like, this could be really interesting. And then Hit just spanks them. Um... Which, which leaves us kind of unsure of who hired Hit, because, I mean, obviously someone did. And uh, we, we get really a theory that Goku knows Hit was hired, because Goku was trying to find Hit's energy before Hit even made it to the universe. And um, that's interesting. I mean, who outside of Universe 7 would have a grudge against Goku anyway? And the answer, well, maybe Goku hired Hit himself as a sort of training thing, or... Maybe we hired Hit to train Goku. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's sort of pointless, but either way, you hired Hit to kill Goku, not just train him. And it seems at the start of the episode, and at the end of the episode, like, Goku's dead, right? I mean, that, that seems to be the case, only, as you can tell by the preview for next episode, there's going to be more boxing, unless somehow Toei has cut the trailer to be, oh, here, insert this clip of Hit fighting Goku from last episode, and Goku's still dead. Um, I don't know, it's, it's disappointing to not see a whole series about Hit's lifestyle and his things, but maybe we'll see enough that we get to watch him develop. Uh, how is Goku going to survive? Well, that's another good question, but uh, Piccolo is a walking AED. For those who don't know, that's an automatic external defibrillator. He can, you know, shock somebody's heart into restarting, so... I can't imagine that Hit's technique is so simply defeated, but maybe Piccolo's got more power than the normal AED that a mob boss might have. And um, maybe a Senzu Bean, you know, maybe, you know, you do the old just chomp, chomp, chomp the guy's face together until he eats the bean and then make him swallow it. Um, or maybe they bring him to Dende. I mean, we, we know Goku's only been dead for a little bit before the heroes arrive to mourn his apparent loss, so that leaves us only with one question. If Goku's going to come back, and whatever, is this just going to be an excuse for Hit and Goku to fight again? Or is this going to actually allow for some character development? I mean, how is Vegeta going to respond to hearing Goku got off by Hit? Is he going to immediately go to Whis? And by the way, I don't think Beerus hired him, because Beerus doesn't seem to give a damn enough. So I don't know, that, that's really, um... It's a little disappointing. I was hoping for more. I was hoping, like I, I said last time I talked about Dragon Ball, that we'd get to see more of the regular characters step up, but, and this is where I should be changing over the pictures to the new story arc teaser that we've all seen by now, um, wow, this looks cool, there's ten heroes, and, oh my god, is that Gohan looking like he's gonna fight, and Majin Buu is there, and is that, is Android 17 a park ranger? Um, this is interesting to me, because we get to see 18 and 17, and 17's actually got a job? And he went into law enforcement? I mean, like, I know in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, you know, 17 talks about becoming a park ranger and how he likes nature, but I didn't realize that was actually, like, a canonical thing. So does that mean we can start just calling them Lapis and Lazuli instead of 17 and 18? Uh, that's not strictly abridged. Uh, so, so, so why is Roshi involved? Just question. Anyway, my main question for the new arc is this. Is this going to be a tournament arc? And if so, does this show fall into the Yu Yu Hakusho trap of having stupid tournaments and not enough plots? Um, Yu Yu Hakusho, what, is, what is, happens? Uh, he dies, and then he does some dumb things a little bit, and then he gets into a tournament with Genkai, and then he gets into a tournament with demons, and then he gets into a tournament again with demons or something. I don't know. I didn't watch enough Yu Yu Hakusho, because I wasn't interested enough. I want to see plots, okay? I know the original Dragon Ball had the Tenkaichi Budokai, but I don't want to just see a new version of that because, you know, I grew up on Z and Z had very few tournaments in comparison to actual plots. I mean, the one time we were really psyched up for an actual tournament 
where we thought Goku and Vegeta were going to fight, it ended up being something completely different. So, I don't know. But, hey, look, this could just be one shot for the Earth heroes to do something cool and then they get spanked in the second round, or this could be an opportunity for Earth heroes to really step up and accomplish something. And it would really be nice. I mean, to get to see the androids back in action and actually being heroes this time would be really refreshing because from all inclinations, they have a very high power level. We still talk about power levels once in a while in, in the Dragon Ball canon. Um, they talked about it when Frieza invaded. But Krillin's in it too, which is kind of cool. Cause I, I mean, I, I figured Tien would be around, but like, I thought Krillin gave up fighting. And again, didn't Vegeta give up fighting when Cell killed Goku? I, I don't know. I want to see actual plots. Again, I want to see a situation where the humans have to step up and do the deed. But that's because I like them. Maybe you like them. You can leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, either way, if you want to see more da Dragon Ball diatribes, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, otherwise, hey, you know what? Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or Happy Holidays. Whatever you celebrate, Merry Solstice. Enjoy. And as always on this channel, La Paz.